You can feel it, can't you? A certain charge in the air of the car world. This isn't just another rivalry. No, this is the main event. In one corner, you have the American icon, Tesla, the company that single-handedly made EVs cool, a symbol of audacious tech and a vision for the future. And in the other, a silent giant rises from the east, BYD, a behemoth building an empire, piece by piece, ready to claim the throne. By 2026, it won't be a question of if they'll clash, but who will be left standing. Is a legendary brand enough to win the war, or will a manufacturing juggernaut simply conquer the globe? This is the ultimate showdown, and you're about to see every single angle. To catch every detail of this epic battle, make sure you're subscribed to Drevexa right now. So how did we even get here? To understand this clash, you have to know the fighters and their radically different paths to power. First, imagine a company born not in Detroit, but in Silicon Valley. A company that approached the car not as a machine, but as the ultimate piece of technology. Tesla's mission was simple and to many, completely insane. Accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. They didn't just want to build a car, they wanted to shatter the glorified golf cart stereotype forever. The Roadster, the Model S, the Model 3, each one was a statement. When you bought a Tesla, you weren't just buying a car, you were buying into a vision, a cult of innovation. With their own exclusive supercharger network, they solved the one problem everyone feared, range anxiety. It was a master stroke. Now, imagine a completely different playbook. While Tesla was grabbing all the headlines, another power was being built brick by brick. They call themselves BYD, Build Your Dreams. And they didn't start with a flashy sports car. They started with the one thing that truly matters in an EV, the battery. Think about that. For years, they mastered the very heart of the electric car before they even went global. Their power isn't just in assembling the final product, it's in controlling every single step. BYD makes its own batteries, its own motors, even its own computer chips. It's an advantage you almost can't comprehend. And their masterwork? A game-changing piece of engineering called the Blade Battery. A technology so effective, it's rewriting the rules on safety, longevity, and cost. Two titans. Two totally different game plans. Who do you think has the stronger foundation? Let us know in the comments. So, where is this war being fought? You might think it's one big open battlefield, but it's not. This is a global game of chess, played on three distinct fronts. First, you have to go to the heart of the dragon, China, the world's largest car market. You need to understand, this is BYD's home turf, and here, They've already landed a stunning blow, dethroning Tesla as the top EV seller. How? By offering a car for literally everyone. You see the Dolphin, the Addo 3, the Han Sedan, they aren't just cars, they're everywhere. A true people's army of EVs. So where does that leave Tesla? Their Shanghai Gigafactory is a fortress of efficiency, a marvel of modern manufacturing. But a fortress can only hold out for so long. Surrounded by fierce local rivals with BYD leading the charge, you have to wonder, how will Tesla fight back in 2026? A price war? A new, more affordable model? The clock is ticking. Now picture the next front, Europe. For years, this was Tesla's playground. The Model 3 and Y were the undisputed champions, topping sales charts. It seemed untouchable. But then, the ships started arriving. BYD isn't just knocking on the door in Europe, they are kicking it down. They're building a network, launching a full lineup, and even building their own European factory right in Tesla's backyard. Imagine a car packed with features at a price that seems almost impossible. That's the weapon BYD is bringing to the fight. It's a threat not just to Tesla, but to every established automaker on the continent. Finally, you come to the last bastion, North America. This is Tesla's fortress, 
the brand is king, the supercharger network is the impenetrable moat, and the Cybertruck is the wild new weapon energizing the faithful. It seems like an impossible market to crack. But what about BYD? You might not see their cars on the road. Yet. But look closer. You've probably seen their electric buses gliding silently through American cities. That's the strategy. A quiet infiltration. They are playing the long game, waiting for the perfect moment to launch a full-scale passenger car invasion. Three battlegrounds, three different strategies. It's an incredible story unfolding right before our eyes. If you're enjoying this deep dive, do us a huge favor and smash that like button. It tells the algorithm you want more deep dives from Drevexa. So what weapons are they bringing to this fight? You have to understand, this is where their philosophies couldn't be more different. It's the surgeon scalpel versus the roaring tidal wave. Think of Tesla's lineup as that scalpel. It's lean. It's focused. It's deadly precise. You have the Model 3 and Y, the two blades that carved out the core of the market. Then you have the S and X, the pinnacle of their performance. And now, the Cybertruck, a radical, brutalist statement designed to shatter the old world. You get it. Each vehicle is a rolling computer, constantly getting smarter with every update. But here's the question you have to ask. In a world moving at lightning speed, can a classic design stay sharp forever? Now, if Tesla is a scalpel, BYD is a shock and awe campaign. This isn't a focused lineup. This is an army, a dizzying number of options for every single person. You've got the Slick Ocean series, the Dolphin, the Seal, the Seagull, aimed at a younger generation. Then you have the Dynasty series, the Han, the Tang, their proven high-quality veterans of the EV wars. And just when you think you've got them figured out, they unleash beasts like the Yang Wang U8, a super SUV that can literally float on water and perform a 360-degree tank turn on the spot. You heard me right. This isn't just about making cars anymore. It's a raw display of technological dominance. But the real secret weapon, the one that truly decides who wins, is the power within, the battery. This is the heart of the electric vehicle, and it's where the battle gets truly fierce. On one side, you have Tesla's hard-won experience. They were the pioneers. They mastered the art of efficiency. Their genius isn't just in the famous 4680 battery cells, but in the software, the brain that controls it all, squeezing every last kilometer of range from the pack. It's about working smarter, not just bigger. But what if you could fundamentally change the battery itself? That's BYD's ace in the hole. It's called the blade battery. Imagine a battery that's not just cheaper to make, but is so safe you can hammer a nail through it without a fire. That's the blade. And remember BYD's ultimate advantage? Vertical integration. They control everything, from the mine to the motor. It allows them to innovate at a terrifying pace. And now for the final mind-blowing twist, the ultimate irony the company that mastered its own battery tech and is now supplying them to other automakers is even supplying them to Tesla for some of their models. Let that sink in. The Challenger is literally powering the champion. But the real war, the one that will truly define the future, isn't fought with batteries or motors. It's fought in the code. This is the battle for the brain of the beast. And here you see two completely different philosophies clashing in spectacular fashion. First, you have Tesla's monumentally bold bet, full self-driving. Imagine teaching a machine to drive using only its eyes. No radar, no complex lasers, just cameras processing the world just like you do. Every single Tesla on the road is part of this grand experiment, a rolling data collector, feeding a massive AI brain, getting smarter with every mile driven. But here's the reality check you need to hear. For all the hype, 
FSD is still officially a level 2 driver assistance system. An incredibly advanced co-pilot, absolutely. But the ultimate promise of a car that drives itself anywhere, anytime, that finish line is still a subject of furious debate. Now look at BYD. They aren't making that same all-or-nothing bet. You could call their path more pragmatic, more strategic. Instead of trying to invent the entire brain from scratch, they're assembling a super team. They're bringing in the heavy hitters, partnering with the certified geniuses at tech giants like NVIDIA and Huawei. Think about that strategy. You focus on building a world-class car, and you let the planet's best software minds help perfect the intelligence inside it. It's a clever, collaborative path that could leapfrog years of development. By 2026, you can expect to see BYD vehicles with driver assistance features so sophisticated they will challenge the very best in the game. So you have to ask yourself, which strategy will win the race to autonomy? The lone visionary, betting everything on its in-house creation? Or the pragmatic collaborator, building a coalition of the world's sharpest minds? Let me know which horse you're backing in the comments below. This incredible rivalry goes even deeper, and believe me, you will not want to miss what's coming next. But don't think for a second this is an easy fight. The road to the throne is littered with traps, and neither contender has a clear path to victory. You have to understand the hurdles they each face. For Tesla, the problem is simple. They are no longer the only game in town. The hunting party has finally arrived. You have legacy giants and hungry startups all releasing a flood of new models. And while the Model 3 and Y are legends, you have to ask, how long can a classic design stay on top? Then there's the wild card, the Elon factor. Is his unpredictable genius a master weapon or a dangerous distraction? And what about BYD? Their challenges are just as massive. Imagine trying to build a global empire when, outside of China, most people have never even heard your name. You're not just selling a car, you're building trust, from scratch, in dozens of different countries. All while navigating a minefield of geopolitics, trade wars, and political suspicion. It's one thing to conquer your home turf, it's another to build a global sales and service network on every continent all at once. So as we stand on the edge of 2026, who wins? Maybe that's the wrong question. This isn't about one company taking the crown. What you're witnessing is the dawn of a completely new era. You will see Tesla, the original disruptor, doubling down on its strengths, the software, the brand, the performance. Its supercharger network is a fortress. But to stay ahead, it must evolve. It must deliver on the promise of a truly affordable EV or risk becoming a legend of the past. And you will see BYD, the industrial powerhouse, become a true global force. Its mastery of batteries and manufacturing is an undeniable advantage. If they can build their brand and master the political game, you might be looking at the next Toyota of the electric age, a name that means reliability and value for millions. So who is the real winner in this ultimate showdown? The answer is simple. You are because this epic competition will unleash a wave of innovation you can't even imagine. It will drive prices down. It will give you more choices, better technology, and a faster path to an electric future. The battle for the automobile is here, and 2026 is shaping up to be its most pivotal year yet. The world is watching, and so are we. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive. If you enjoyed this analysis, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to Drivexa so you never miss a beat in the electric revolution. We'll see you in the next one.